Yo, what is up? So, um, I just watched the video from Ancient Gameplays about AMD as, well it's not AMD's official uh, program but it's a really good app that someone from GIT Hub has made and it's the AMD GPU Profile Manager so it's basically the answer to NVIDIA's Profile Inspector uh, all, all that is not official as I said but yeah, it's definitely a really good app from what I've had a look at it. So I thought I'd do a video showing people how to use it and uh, mainly how to add games because uh, if you load it up. So first of all, if you want to download it, just go to Google, type in AMD GPU Profile Manager uh, GIT Hub and it comes up and then this is what you want to click. That will download it and then what I did was just paste it, extract it to my uh, desktop and then you you got it's a bit like to scale where it says do you want to run this and just click yes and uh, so these are all the games it's got so I did type in the first descendant but it's not coming up so this is where I thought well people will want to add games their own games they want so I thought I'd do a video um, it's pretty simple how to use, but I'll go for it. So, click user. So I've already added a game myself because it's not in there. So I thought I'd try it with like a dragon edition. So you would have to click create, and then how it works. Um, basically, you got to go into your Steam wherever the game is. Right click properties, install. Go to the folder. And you've got to find that exe so this is in it and then how i did it was uh i wasn't sure if it was going to work like this but you just basically go uh you can go there you just basically highlight that copy it so it seems to work like that so it's the name of the exe and i it actually worked because uh, i had to basically load up the game first and then i had to quit it and then it come up in the thing well it actually tell you like when I loaded the game up it come up FSR 4 available top right like it would natively and it's supported in the game so that's that's how it worked and then uh, so what happened there yeah so if you want to do that you would just basically put that in there so that is what you need so put the exe in here then you just name it what you want so I've just basically done that as I've done that and then press OK and then what would happen was it would come up like this and it wipe this it straight away basically so that's what happens with it um, so obviously I've done it so I don't need that so I've already done it there and I can show you what happens see now that wasn't there before so now I can literally enable it uh, so we'll load it up so it's literally like how it would be exactly the same if AMD officially supported it and it should come up top right there we go yeah see available so that is really good I think so this is a, although it's not making OptiScaler obsolete because the game will need to be FSR 3.1 but there is a way around it that I'll show you. So obviously you can use OptiScaler in the game. So we'll turn the sound down. I'm actually install my ultra wide on this because so, it's obviously a new hard drive I'm using so I didn't got around to doing everything yet all right so let's just make sure that is totally done yeah so because the problem with this game is it's got only for some reason it's only got 2.1 so I don't know why developers are still doing this so I, I mean these developers are usually pretty good with that but for some reason they haven't done it in this uh, one in this game but it was a sort of a, it's more of a budget sort of yakuza but uh 
I don't know. But um, yeah, so that's enabled. So the next thing we need to do, because it's only 2.1, you would still use OptiScale up to update it to 3.1. Because uh, I've got this as well, because it is handy for AMD as well, not just NVIDIA. So as you can see, it's not supported there. But once I install OptiScale, that will go to 3.1. And then that will work in the game. So that's all you got to do. So, I mean, it should be fine. I mean, for 3.1. Right. So we just install to scale up. So I'll use Dual SS because I know FSR doesn't work on here. Uh, because probably because it is 2.1 uh, although it did work in one game from what I remember but um, yeah so th this will update to 3.1 and then uh, it's just for the purpose of the video really to show you how it would work so it comes up active in NAMD's adrenaline so that should yeah. do that I would have thought anyway I don't know if that's going to change straight away, is it? Yeah. Nah. So I imagine I've got to load up the game first. So what I would have to do... Just go into the game. Although, to be honest, it does seem a bit... not It's unnecessary when you can use Opscale anyway. With uh, games that are not updated to 3.1. So I would say it's good for 3.1, but then you, you, if you're using OptiScaler, maybe you're not going to be that bothered. So um, obviously it would work, but then it does seem a bit... But it's just for showing people how to do it, really. And you go into the OSS Swapper. Should be anyway. Yeah, so so now that's updated it. So I just had to refresh that. So then you would just basically uh go in here. So it's still active, then I would just go in back in and I imagine it would be uh active when the adrenaline menu pops up top right. Still coming up available to Alright, I definitely need to get my extra wide tool up. Oh, now it's kind of active, right. So, yeah, so some games do not actually show themselves to be active until you actually get into the gameplay. So that is how that works. So we come out. Yeah, so that's how to do it with a... 2.1 games so yeah, i think this uh amd profile manager is it's going to be really good uh for me anyway uh i know some people will still be against it because they don't even want to use the optiscale for me it, it's logical uh but who knows it'll be interesting to see amd profile manager because it's pretty much the same as a nvidia profile inspector this app i mean all you got to do so these are the games already in the app. So all you got to do is just basically search what, for what game you want. Like, uh, is Rebirth in there? Yeah, so that's good. So that's in that. So I would imagine you would just do that. See? And that would come up. Uh, so that's all you got to do. Pretty much like that. Although I'm not sure Rebirth will work because there's no FSR in the game. So you would probably need to use Opticale again. And this is why I think some people are still going to be a bit stubborn with it and not use it. But it's for 3.1 games. I think it's good. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.